Hello people. So today I want to talk about some x-ray images and these x-ray images show actually some of the most common pathologies you can encounter of uh, in x-ray images. So these are only a few examples. So the first example is uh, obviously if you look at this x-ray the most uh, pointing out thing here is this structure which is obviously not normal because normally here we don't see an air fluid level so this looks like a circular structure with air on top and a fluid level so this line represents a fluid level in this um, formation this is an PA view, a posterior anterior view, and this is a lateral view from the left side. And we can see here also that this structure is present. It looks like moon shape, but it is actually a circular structure with an air fluid level. When you see a structure like this, most of the time, of course, it can be other pathology, but most of the time, this represent, represents an abscess formation. Also, there is a consolidation, a, hom uh, a homogeneous consolidation in this lower part of the left lung field. It could be a pneumonia with an abscess formation, for example. In this case, I... I only know for sure that this was an abscess formation. <clears throat> so the next finding, <clears throat> in this picture, you can obviously see that on the right side here, there is a big consolidation in the lower, middle and even apical part of the uh, right lung field. <clears throat> and uh, this cons consolidation is not really uh, um, homogeneous um, and it has it is confluating so these patchy opacities are merging together and you can see a few uh, bronchi with air in them that is called uh, air bronchogram and these findings patchy opacities with air bronchogram uh, are indicative uh, of bronchopneumonia, and this was actually bronchopneumonia. This is also uh, something interesting. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, x-rays are used to check something, so in this case there is a central venous catheter inserted, and um, uh, the tip of the catheter should be at the base of the superior caudal vein and in this case we can see uh, that is true and the x-ray was used to check if the placement was right. So in this case uh, for example uh, on the right side uh, we have this is a x-ray of a child and we can see that um, on the right side, there, uh, this is the normal side. <clears throat> the, we see that a nice clear uh, right lung field and a nice uh, hilum. So sometimes clinicians, when they describe the hilus, the hilum is enlarged, the hilum is normal. So when there is, so this is the hilum. When the base of the hilum has so these darker areas, when there is no opacity present at here at the base of the hilum, most clinicians then say, and when the hilum is normal itself, most clinicians will say, okay, this is not an enlarged or uh, unpat uh, unpathological hilum, it is normal. But when, when we have opacities here in the base or when everything is enlarged, they will say, okay, the hilum is enlarged. So, you see, we could say that here the hilum is uh, enlarged, but the main uh, thing in this x-ray is this uh, structure that is present here, which actually looks like a, uh, 
round shape structure with a thin wall and this structure actually turned out to be an echinococcus cyst with a few smaller parts on the base gravity pulled them to the base but this whole structure is an echinococcus uh, cyst <clears throat> This is also a very interesting and important uh, uh, x-ray because it sh shows uh, a really common pathology and this x-ray actually shows pulmonary uh, edema. So we can see that there are opacities here at the base of the hilum and the hilum looks bigger and there are opacities near the hilum. These are really patchy opacities and these are present in both lung fields near the hilum. Besides these patchy opacities, if you look at the costophrenic angle, so the costophrenic angle is basically where the ribs, so we, we should see more of this, but where, where the ribs uh, from this side and the um, uh, diaphragm meet, so this would be the costophrenic angle and, and it should be sharp and dark like this but we see that here is an opacity that even has a level and the same is almost here so this are uh, these are uh, plural effusions in the costophrenic angles in the plura and uh, we see that there is fluid buildup even there and also something that is subtle but a characteristic of pulmonary edema besides these patchy opacities in, in, the, in both lung fields are these small uh, uh, interstitial thin lines, horizontal lines. One is present here and maybe one here and here. These are called curly B lines. They are also indicative of pulmonary edema and fluid buildup in the pulmonary interstitium. So this is a characteristic, a characteristical x-ray of pulmonary edema. The next picture shows uh, a right side of the lung that is uh, correct, but on the left side we can see, and it is very obvious, a uh, consolidation and this consolidation is uh, basically uh, one uh, big consolidation that uh, is confluent and uh, homogeneous and there is also an air bronchogram visible so it looks almost like the whole lobe is a consolidation and this actually turned out to be a lobar pneumonia and in bronchopneumonia, you have patchy opacities, and in uh, lobar pneumonia like this, you have a big, uh, not always the case, but you have a big uh, 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 homogeneous consolidation. So this is an AP view in a lying down patient, and um, in this female patient, we can see that the whole right side is a big consolidation this is actually a big effusion and this big uh, effusion in this uh, part of the thorax is pushing all the other uh, uh, structures uh, of the mediastine mediastinum in, in to the uh, to the contralateral left side so we see that the heart the big vessels of the heart are pushed to the left side because of fluid buildup here that is pushing it to this side. Also, the trachea that is coming from up here, it, it, it is bending, it is being pushed to the left side. It, it Normally it should go uh, down this way, but it is being pushed away because of this fluid to the left side. This is also uh, an interesting x-ray. Um, it shows these circular uh, patchy uh, opacities uh, that, are uh, that are homogeneous opacities uh, and there are m m many of them are present in the lower lung fields of the right and left lung. 
some of them are present also in these uh, middle uh, parts of the lung fields and maybe but the ap apical part of the lung is mostly spared so patchy round opacities multiple of multiple uh, of them in the lower and middle lung fields and these are actually they turned out to be uh, metastatic uh, cancer so the primary lesion was uh, renal cell carcinoma and it gave a secondary metastatic disease <clears throat> into the lung that looks like this so these uh, few x-rays syringes are actually uh, some very common things you can uh, find on x-rays besides obviously uh, broken ribs, uh, pneumothorax, and fibrosis, and uh, pneumo and different pneumonias. Uh, so, uh, the <clears throat> <clears throat> and this is the important reason why I put them here, because they show <clears throat> some uh, common pathologies on X-rays. Thank you.